Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is City Skylines, and yesterday uh, they released two new DLCs. Uh, they both custom content, and if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of City Skylines. I do Let's Plays, tutorials, how-tos, all those, and um, I do a little house flipper as well. But uh, I just wanted to give an overview of both DLCs. Um, I kind of laid them all out. And let's get right into it. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think. Um, so the first one is train stations. So in this one, we got uh, six new train uh, stations right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six new metros and we got four new hubs so I'm just gonna quickly take you through uh, how they look uh, this one you can't walk into the building is uh, completely closed but we do get nice parking lots that's really nice they are the two tracksy and they bend in so you can come in and go right through so this one is actually called the Elevated Island Platform Train Station. Next, we have the Elevated Dual Island Platform Train Station. I love the uh, building outside, the round glass. You cannot walk into the building or up to the platform. If you wanted to walk, you would have to uh, access it from here. Uh, very nice, though. Next up, we have the Ground Island Platform Train Station. This you can walk up the stairs. Uh, let me just give you a little walk through here. And yeah, if we come up to here, they have this uh, platform just coming down. And you can get right onto the platform here and access both trains. So that's very nice. Next up, we have the gr uh, Ground Dual Island Platform Train Station. This you can also access from the ground. If you go from here, you can walk up these stairs. And you can go down this or this one. So it's nice that you actually get to walk through these and come down to the platforms and just see all the nice detail in all of these so I like when you can walk through them and see what you get over here we have the ground bypass train station again you can walk through it I won't keep doing that to you but the stairs are right there um, this is really nice it's got the four lines and Let's come on over to this one. This one is the elevated bypass train station. You cannot get into this one. Uh, the ground is closed. You would have to access it from up here. But this is also four. One, two, three, four. And it could go right there. So there you go. Those are the six train stations. All very nice. You get a nice parking lot with each something we don't have uh, on console. Here are our metro stations. This one is called the Sunken Island Platform Metro. Again, you can access uh, this to the walk. And you can zoom, here we go, and come right down, but you fall in. But you can at least come down and see what it's all about, which is super nice. Next up, we have the sunken dual island platform metro station so that's just basically double if you look here it's got it's hard to see it that way let's go into the walk we'll just drop down into here so as you can see we have the lines on each side as well as two lines in the middle so we actually get four lines in here and next up, we have this one right here, which is the 
Sunken Bypass Metro Station. Again, really nice. Come down from over here. There's a stairwell right under here. And you can come in. It's got the two lines in here. Next we have this one, which is an elevated island platform metro station. This can get placed over the street, which is nice. As well as these, as you can see. Um, this you can access from under here the stairs and we get uh, two lines and over here we have the elevated bypass metro station and we have two lines here so this is the island one and this is just the bypass one then we got the dual island platform elevated and that gives us the four uh, tracks and it's pretty nice they're all really nice these most of them go right over the road except for this one next up we have the hubs we have the train station here with the metro here and that's super nice so we have access to quite a bit. We have the one, two, got quite a few rails here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve rails. And then we have the four rails for the metro on top. This is called the Glass Box Transport Hub. Next, we have the Metro Plaza Station. I really like this. Uh, it's all sunken in. We have all the metros down in here. Uh, if I go ahead and grab a metro right here, let's go down. So you have access to one, two, three, four, five. So that's pretty neat. Next up, we have the old market station. So this one's quite nice. I like this. You can't uh, access the upper from the bottom here. The market's down in here. So they can do some shopping and there's food courts and stuff down in here. They have the ice cream truck. So it's pretty neat. It's just a nice walk through. Um, you have the parking lot here. I think what I would have liked to see with this one is access from both sides that we could actually put a road down in here because uh, you cannot um, so that would have been nice if we could access you know something here but it will not link up I've tried it a couple of times next up we have the crossover train station hub so this is nice you got your train station coming in here you got the four and then up here you have the four so you can have them cross right over elevated and these are nice that they're sunk in and you can kind of make the tunnels coming right across so that's really cool so that's what you get in the uh the train stations dlc um, next up we get bridges and piers so on the bridges and piers oh by the way this is all uh accessible through your mass transit here you just go to the end here with your cargo um, and it's all in, not cargo, uh, with your train stations. It's all custom content. Um, I would have liked to see cargo, by the way. We have no cargo trains. Um, I would have liked to see at least one or two. Uh, with PS4, we don't get uh, mods or custom content except what, uh, Paradox gives us. So a couple of cargo trains would have been nice because we don't get the storage containers or anything like that. So it's really hard to make them look more realistic. But next up, let's do the uh, bridges and piers. In this category, uh, we have to go to roads and the custom content here. So this one right here is called the American Tune Lane Truss Bridge. And it's pretty nice. I like it. It looks pretty good. Over here, we have the American Four Lane Truss Bridge. Next up is the American 6 lane. 
uh, stone bridge. All the pillars are stone underneath. And we have all pedestrian walks with all the bridges. Next up is the European two-lane bridge. That looks really nice. I love the stone work on the pedestrian walks. Over here we have the European four-lane stone bridge. Looks super nice. Over in here we have the European six stone bridge. Uh, the six lanes is nice. I like that they're just clean looking. Nothing on top. Over here we have the three lane highway. So that's really nice. And you get the pedestrian bridge on the side here. And next up we have our railroads. Now that we'd go back to the mass transit. It's on the last three. And we have the first one is the European Rail Bridge. And the second one is the European Rail Bridge 2. These are one way. There's not two lines on these. So these, you got to make sure you're only running one way. So just be careful. Over here, we have the high speed rail. This is super cool. Uh, apparently, the trains go super fast on here. I think uh, 135 or so. It's pretty fast, whatever it is. It's pretty high. Next up, we have the pedestrian bridges um, that you would find here in your landscaping tool. Um, the only thing I do not like about these, which um, this one is called the American pedestrian bridge. This is the European. Um, they don't carry through onto the ground. I would have liked to see that. I like the texture of them, uh, but they turn into the regular stone concrete. So I don't really care for those um, once you get to the ground. Oh, on the bridge side of it, it looks really nice. But yeah, I would have liked to see that carry out through onto the ground, but it doesn't. Next up is the keys or quays, however you pronounce it. This, we got eight different ones, but there's two styles in each. So this is the simple seawall, and the next one is the simple seawall fenceless. So, as you can see, and they have the nice stone front. Next up, we'll go over to this area, and we have the tiered seawall, uh, both. And then we have the tier seawall top. Now, to me, they look exactly the same. I'm sure there's a difference. Um, I'm just not seeing it with the way, I guess, this landscaping is. Uh, that tends to be true with these as well and those. But, um, yeah, so we do get the two types within the same one. Here we have the tiered seawall with stairs, both. And this one is the top. So again, I don't see a lot. Um, these are not put in properly, obviously. They were just in to show you. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we got some new seawalls. That's pretty cool. This one is the tiered seawall wide both. And over here is the top. Same thing, just one's both, one's top. Then we'll come down over to here, and we have the Simple City Key and the Simple City Key Fenceless. So this is obvious. There's just the fence on it, and this one does not. Then we have the City Tiered, and that's both, and this is the top again very nice it would be really cool i i can't wait to use these i like this one especially this is the city key wide and this looks really nice when you place it very low as well as this one which is the city key with uh wide with stairs you get these little stairs that come in and i'll just come over here where it's a little bit lower and you can see 
when it's placed really close to the water it looks so so nice really really nice so that's it with the uh two dlc packs that we got yesterday the train stations and the bridges and piers so i just wanted to give you a quick little walkthrough and just see everything out in the open and uh yeah if you like my content and you haven't already subscribe like comment let me know what you think what you would have liked to see in the dlcs i mean it's been a year since we got sunset harbor and i would have looked forward to some new maps um being on the ps4 again the console gets very little with maps and assets and parking lots everybody wants parking lots can you throw that in with the you know an update or something they're pretty easy i'm sure to grab some parking lots to uh fill up our stadiums and museums and stuff so that would be nice to see so uh thank you and uh i hope to see you soon back on my channel bye